If you wouldn't do it in person, don't do it on the internet. Social media can help you network, build relationships, and advance your acting career. But if you use it the wrong way, it can make you look foolish, unprofessional, and thirsty. Hi, my name is Giselle Foster. I am an acting coach in New York City as well as an actor, and I know what it's like to start a career in this industry from scratch, and I just want to help you make it a little bit easier. Don't vent too much. It's always super interesting to watch someone crash and burn, especially if it's something that they're going through and it's true and it's honest, we are attracted to that. But watching it too much can just feel negative and you don't want someone to see that, finding your profile, never meeting you before and think that is the way that you operate in the world. There's nothing wrong with spending something with a learning lesson, but don't just vent, it's tasteless. Talk about what you're for, not what you're against. The world is a messy place right now and there's tons of polar opinions and we know that. But instead of highlighting the negative, why don't you talk about the positive? At least on social media. You never know who's watching. Most people don't mind answering a quick question or giving you feedback, but you have to think about who you're talking about. These people have so many people clawing at them all the time, and their job is very busy already. So this is not the place for you to send them your resume or a link to a video that you've done. You want to make sure to focus your efforts on reaching them in other ways. Know when you are allowed to post. There are so many sticky situations you can get yourself in if you're working on a set or on a production that doesn't want you to post, but you do. So be aware if you sign any NDAs or you have any folks who ask you, please don't post yet. Don't get overwhelmed by the number of followers that you may or may not have. Yes, it matters. Companies will always want to work with people who have built-in followers, but it doesn't matter as much as your craft does. Don't buy followers. It's very easy to tell when people do. You look at their account and they have 10, 13, 15,000 subscribers, and then they have 50 likes on each photo. Don't do it. If they're not engaging with you, they're not real. And 10% engagement, is pretty good right now. Do the math. I'm sure you're doing a lot better than you thought you were doing. Don't spam. Nobody wants to see your five Instagram posts in a row because it helps make your feed look amazing. Don't do that. Wait or schedule them. Look, social media is like a big party. You go in, you introduce yourself, you talk to people, you have fun with folks. What you don't want to do is run into the party, scream about yourself, and then leave without connecting with anyone. All right, that's all the tips that I have for you today. If there's something that you love that I said today, leave it in the comments below. If there's something I missed, let us know. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you learned something. And as always, wishing you love, light, and all that jazz.